for the sign of Leo. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Leo, in the recent past, we got this Ace of Cups and it's paired with Five of Cups. Ace of Cups, it's a very, very powerful, positive card in the tarot when it comes to love, happiness, affection. Like all the Aces, it's about new beginnings. And although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. So things were probably looking up for, for you in the recent past. People probably responded to you with happiness, love, goodwill, more than usually at that time. So you probably were feeling really good about life overall. And it probably was a great time to make friends or you made a lot of friends in the recent past. Now, Ace of Cups, it's paired with the Five of Cups, which is another card that reminds us that where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So you probably found yourself asking, what are you going to choose to focus on? It was probably very clear. For example, are you going to cry over spilt milk or are you going to focus on the milk that you still have and get on with things? Now, what I'm trying to say is that you probably needed to watch where you put your focus and make sure your focus was for your highest good in the recent past. So with these two cards paired together, Ace of Cups and Five of Cups for the recent past, it looks like there was probably a new love that came in. Something really made you really happy, made you feel warm inside. There could have been a deep attraction for someone that you had and they had the same feelings towards you and because the five of cups is paired with this um, ace of cups i'm picking up that uh there was some disappointment in the connection maybe it didn't last that long you start to feel abandoned or, or unloved that's what you get with the five of cups and um or maybe you experience some type of loss and or some type of regret some feelings of abandon of abandonment or just some grief yeah some great love came in deep attraction made you feel warm and fuzzy it felt like a new beginning but i'm picking up that it didn't last that long so you experienced some disappointment and then you had to try to make sure that you didn't stay focused on the disappointment. You, you tried to pick you, you, you knew that you had to pick yourself right back up and move on to better days or to happier times because something great came in. It looks like it probably didn't last that long. And there was, it was a big disappointment. But thank God that was a recent past. Let's get off of that. And let's move on over. Let's see what we got coming up for you for the third week of August. For the present, that would be Temperance and the Knight of Pentacles. Now, Temperance is basically about finding balance in yourself and your relationships, goals and aspirations. It's about having a peace of mind or trying to get there. You could be thinking about reconciling with someone or maybe you're taking a look at anything you feel guilty about, any past mistakes that you've made and you, that you've made and forgive yourself. If that's not what you're trying to do, then this is probably what you should try to do. Um, forgive yourself, let go of any past mistakes um, because it's really the only way you can truly make progress in life. And that's what temperance is is about trying to look at any deep personal issues that you have and see if they're standing in your way and work through them, integrate them. So it's about finding balance. And it looks like you got this Knight of, Knight of Pentacles. Someone is coming in if you're trying to figure out if the person that's on your mind or the person you're dealing with, or maybe someone new, if you, if you wanna know if they're gonna reach out to you, they are. We got the Knight of Pentacles. It points to messages. So you'll likely be receiving some type of news, news that you've been waiting on or you'll be hearing from someone that you've been waiting to hear from. This is really good news. The Knight is a practical card. 
It tells you to pay attention to the mundane and normal parts of your lives. You probably heard the saying before, if you take care of the little things, the big things will fall into place. Well, this Knight of Pentacles, it, it asks you to look at how you're handling your affairs. And it's a very grounding influence. So basically, with these two cards paired together, Temperance and Knight of Pentacles, it's saying that someone is will be reaching out to you. Could Like I said, it could be someone that you, you're hoping to hear from. Maybe it's someone new. Now, because it's a Knight of Pentacles, it's a slow and steady type. Very stable, civilized. Um, this Knight of Pentacles is a, is a good to marry type. Yeah, now this person, you might think that this person would be good for you because, because of their character. Like I said, very slow, civilized, stable. You might be thinking that this person could bring balance into your life. Or maybe you're just trying to, you could be trying to balance yourself out because you know someone civilized is coming towards you. Let's take a look at the rest of the reading so we can get more clarity on these two cards. So we might have to come back to those two. So we move on over and see what the challenge is going to be. We got the Empress and we got the Six of Wands. Now this Empress doesn't play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things, her own idea of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now this doesn't mean she'll always get her way, but it's a reminder not to ignore your creative, your intuitive side. It's about coming abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially. Because there's many types of wealth and riches in life, and money is only one of them. But the Empress can encompass any or all of them. Uh, with the Empress, it's a really potent time for love. You could find men and women alike suddenly finding you far more attractive, both in terms for friendship and romance. So the Empress is a good a good card in the reading it's about coming abundance if you're already committed in a relationship it becomes sweeter deeper and more truer or more true I'm sorry now this empress is paired with six of wands six of wands is, is a great card it's about recognition victory victory and success if you can see this card um, this lady she's standing on a podium She's got all these people surrounding her. She's up on the podium. She's waving her wand in the air, and they're doing exactly what she's doing. So it's about recognition. It's about success. Uh, if you want to win your lover's heart, just know you will be victorious. Uh, so this can also indicate some type of celebration. You could be a part of a graduation party or a commencement celebration. Or you could be receiving a reward for some good work that you've done. Six of Wands makes you feel really good about yourself. You may feel as if you got a lot of support from everyone around you, just like she is. They're cheering her on, and she's enjoying it. They're doing exactly what she's doing, waving her wand in the air from left to right. So there's a lot of support here. On the other hand, you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. Six of Wands, when it comes to love questions, you could be the type that you need someone to boost your ego. This card has that twin flame energy, that, yeah, that magnetism, that chemistry, that mirror, mirroring each other. That's what the Six of Wands reminds me of. Because you could be the type that needs someone to boost your ego while the other person you're dealing with, they're perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. It's called fire of balance. The two of you feed off of each other energetically. You're mirroring each other. So with the six of wands, you get a lot of sexual energy. And there is passion and long nights spent in bed with the six of wands. So a lot of great chemistry. Now, why would that be a challenge? That sounds like a lot of fun, right? So maybe it's a challenge because... You, um, you're going to have a lot of people drawn to you and attracted to you with the Empress here. So it may not easy, it may not be easy to pick and choose 
but there's someone that you're going to have victory and success with or there's going to be someone that wants victory and success with you in a real big way yeah so you'll be coming abundance but you'll be attracting all kinds for friendship and romance and I guess the challenge would be is that we all know everyone is not good for us so it's about picking and choosing so that can be a challenge you got some great chemistry coming in towards you Leo could be with someone new or maybe it's with the person you're already with so let's take a look and see what the outcome is we got the hermit and we got the five of wands now the hermit it's a card about getting rid of rid of some baggage clearing your mind spending some time alone uh, relationships they're usually not a prior they're usually not on the priority list with this hermit card showing up here it could be about just spending time alone taking walks around the house to clear your head um, trying very hard to do the right thing but you got to make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others so that kind of explains the hermit card and it's with the five of wands five of wands refers to competition romantic rivals now with this card you have to make sure you're not afraid of competing just know that you have something to offer you can be successful you can be successful you can win but you're gonna have to try just to see results so when you get this card in a reading, your need to believe in yourself is going to have to be stronger than ever at this time. So hold your head up high. Have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. You could be thinking of making a career change. Just know that you can be successful, but you're going to have to try. So basically, the outcome is that you've got someone that's coming in this knight of pentacles somebody that's going to present themselves as being slow steady safe civilized good to marry type and it looks like you this this person could you could be you could already know them or it could be someone new or who knows? I know you don't I know you don't want to hear this, but maybe it's somebody from the past. Maybe it's this person that we talked about in the past that came in as a great new beginning, but then something happened that caused a disappointment. Maybe it's them. But let's let's say it's a new person or the person you're dealing with, because I know a lot of you say, Oh, please don't talk about the past. So we don't really have to go there. So Take it for however it resonates with you. But you you could start to feel like this person could be good for you. Or you could start to feel like this person is bringing balance into your life. Or that they could do this for you. Or it would be good. You could be thinking that it would be this person would be good for you. Or they could be presenting, presenting themselves like this to you. This person has a lot of attraction for you it may feel like a secret but the secret is that they're deeply attracted to you as the empress as the empress this person will want victory and success with you and with this connection but it looks like the outcome is that you're going to find out that they're probably seeing other people they haven't closed off their option their other option, options just yet just yet they're still seeing other people because we got you fighting off all these other people with your sticks you see the five of wands those five men about to beat each other with their wands so it's about the connection it may turn out to be a challenge for a little while five of wands is about a challenge struggle for dominance and it's about obstacles rivalry so this person that's interested in you, you may find out that, it, that they're still being pursued by other people. So it may make you feel like it's too much of a challenge to deal with this person. But you, you go into hermit mode and you try to 
make sense out of it. Try maybe try to decide as if this is what you really want. Because, like I said, the hermit is about spending time alone, clearing their mind, and not really making relationships a priority at the moment. So you got someone coming in. And like I said, they're going to present themselves as being stable, civilized. And you might like, you might like, um, or you could be thinking that this person is, is good for you. Because temperance is there. It's about balance. And like I said, this person's got a lot of mojo for you. A lot of it. They find you really attractive. They want they want victory and success with this connection. You two probably have a will will have a lot in common with the six of wands here. The intimacy it will probably be off the charts, crazy good. But you're not really feeling this person uh, in a certain way because you see that they're still dealing with other people so you go into hermit mode and that's for now but things could change because like i said this person is they could want to become civilized and make the connection stable but for right now they bring other people in the mix 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 